Welcome to my channel, Learn UXID, where I talk about user experience design, UI design, new tools, techniques, trends. So today I am going to talk about a topic that no one's talk about, which is what is a good web design or what is a good design. So I would, uh, I'm going to uh, give you an example of a landing page. And from there, I will show you what are the, uh, you can say components that are going to make uh, design good okay so first uh, and foremost is that design is uh, for me the two factors the two main factors is design is appearance plus the performance okay it's functionality and the performance how efficient is your design how well does it perform how well does it uh, fulfill the needs of the users how much time does it take to load if it's a web website so I'm specifically talking about web design. So first thing is whenever you are designing, your design should load fast. So if your design is taking like five or seven seconds to load on a web browser, I think it is not a good design. Whether you have used a lot of technologies, lot of animations or whatever, people are going to start irritating after three seconds. So make sure your page loads within three seconds, first three seconds. Uh, I recently designed a web page and it loads on mobile phones in 2.5 seconds and on website uh, on uh, desktop websites in one second. Okay, so this is I think uh, your your priority should be how fast it is going to load. If it's a mobile app and it, it takes like a 10 seconds to load a product detail. For example, I have clicked on a product and it takes like 10 seconds to load that product. Or if I have clicked on the checkout, it takes like 30 seconds to go to the next screen. I think I'm going to leave that or I, I would really get upset and irritated. So make sure your design, your website, your landing page, they are fast. They doesn't take too much time. They are easier to load when you are using uh, you are using images and graphics try to reduce them as much as you can or try to reduce or compress their sizes so this is one thing second is if you are designing your designs should keep in mind the search engine optimization seo so a lot of designers i think they are not familiar with the concept of seo or search engine optimizations first thing is that search engines are going to look for images image uh, images all tags whatever the written over there then they are going to talk about they, they are going to look for headings h1 h2 h3 so if you have designed something and you are not using too many headings you are just using some bold text and then a paragraph then this is a problem you have to use a proper hierarchy for example your page title should be heading one that should be the biggest heading then heading two three and so on and so forth so this is one more thing. You should understand some of the rules of the SEO or search engine optimization. If you are a designer, you should also uh, learn some of the coding or you should know some of the concepts of CSS and HTML. I think I'm going, I, I, I am thinking about making a course on uh, about how to, uh, you can say, learn coding or HTML, CSS for designers. I will talk about the basic things, the basic concepts. So this is how uh, you sh your web page design or your uh, design should be good enough. So this is how much it should be good enough. So if you are a designer, if you are a user experience designer, make sure you uh, keep on your focus on all these different points, not just your design. I have seen a lot of dribble shots that they are really good dribble shots, very creative, but I think in uh, practice or in practical uh, web page loading they are really going to hurt the user experience what about their um, their mobile uh, device uh, speeds and limitations screen limitations so that is my video for today i hope you have learned something make sure you like and subscribe my channel i will make sure i will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye Thanks for watching this video and I hope you have learned something new and useful. Uh, make sure you also check out my courses on Skillshare because I am teaching 
more than 17 plus UI UX design courses. You can find the link in the description of this video below and you can sign up from there and I think it's 19 or $20 per month and you can watch all my courses and get all the skills and uh, education necessary to become a successful UI and UX designer. See you soon in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.